Welcome to Play Pants, episode number 202. Last week on Play Pants. Uh, let's start off with, um, I think we're gonna... Excuse me, uh... Todd's music. Uh, this show has been cancelled. Play Pants, it's off at this time. No, this is Play Pants. No, this... I'm sorry. We have a new show. Todd's music video half hour. No, I, 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 they would have changed the format a, a, a little bit. Great, another quarter. What will Mark do now? Find out on this episode of Play Pants. Go. <gasps> Considering, um, I, uh, I've decided to change the format of uh, play pants, and um, uh, instead of me having my little clever uh, host segments with uh, my friend Jeff, I'm gonna uh, take a road trip uh, upstate New York and try to retrace uh, my past. Uh, I, I, you know, I was born and raised upstate New York, and I figured I'd go and check out some of the old neighborhoods and see what uh, see what the towns are like. So. Um, I, I'm, my bags are packed and uh, I'm ready to go. So uh, why don't you come along with me? It's gonna be fun. And so uh, I'm ready to go. Uh, so I just gotta go and uh, just gotta go and get the get the car. Um, I got the keys and I'm uh, ready to go. Camera. We're heading towards the uh, Henry Hudson Highway, and uh, hopefully that will take me uh, to points. Whoa! A little bumpy here. Eee. A little bumpy. Okay, if I make a once I make a right here, I'll be on the Henry Hudson uh, Highway, and uh, which will help uh, lead us to uh, points north. Now, if you're wondering why I'm decided to do all this. Well, no, 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 no. Okay, that's it, that's fine. I tell you, in, in New York City, if you're not if you're not going 90 miles an hour, you're you're a slowpoke. All right, I'll be a little more comfortable once I get into the uh, uh, poorly lit wooded areas of the highway uh, in upstate New York. I think this turns into nine, route nine, and then I'm gonna take that north until I hit 23, which is supposed to take us to the Catskills. These are kind of, you know, small little, you know, back back road type of routes. I figured I'd take the scenic route because I'm in no hurry to go anywhere, really. Um
All right, now I'm in a I'm in an AMP parking lot, but I have no idea where I am. So I'm consulting a map, and I just for the heck of me, I just can't figure out. <laughs> I have no idea. I can't find the highway that I was on, um, which is not a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess I can keep on uh, just going uh, north. Uh, this is not interesting. We're driving through uh, Poughkeepsie right now. Um, for some reason I thought that when I reached Poughkeepsie, everything would be clear. Like I would know the plan, and I would know what to do. And right now I'm just uh, more baffled than ever. I should probably pull over somewhere and... Uh, Regroup. I'm trying to make a left here. It's to uh, Main Street. So uh, that sounds kind of promising. Okay, we make a left hand turn here. It's kind of a wide turn. Then, uh, oh look, it is a cab. Poughkeepsie has cabs and everything. And uh, that's splitting right. Oh! I. Uh, I knew someone in college who was from Poughkeepsie. Um, I, I tried touching. I think I tried touching her breast once when I was drunk. I feel bad about that, but uh, but that's not going to stop me from continuing on. So here we are in Poughkeepsie. <clears throat> Could take 44 minutes. You know, I should just. <laughs> This is a mistake. This whole, you know, scenic route thing. But you know, whatever. Oh, okay. This is boring again. Okay, crossing the Hudson uh, River here. Um. Ah, yeah, whatever. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Every fucking two feet. I got these 25 mile per hour, you know, curves I gotta, I gotta take care of. <laughs> there you go, let me take care of this one right here. <laughs> okay, taking care of that. It's usually right around this bend that all of a sudden another road ranger will come towards me with their bright lights. <sighs> well, not that time though. Okay. Now filming and driving is a really healthy thing to do. I'm at the Econo Lodge, uh, just outside of uh, Cortland, New York, and um, so t t t uh, I'm gonna go to sleep. All right. Got a problem with that? Got a problem with that? We'll see the manager. Well, here we are in Ithaca, New York. Here's my old uh, elementary school behind me. Elementary school. Elementary school uh, behind me. You know, I have no clever things to say. I'm just sort of uh, trying to wing it right now. <laughs> um, this is, uh, you know, I think this is there like a holiday? I mean, what's, what's today? Today's Wednesday. So, in theory, it's Wednesday, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. I figured there'd be like kids playing around here, but um, there aren't. So there's like oh, a couple possible reasons for that. One is uh, they knew I was coming and they all went to hide in the basement. Two, it's a holiday and uh, kids are all at home. Or three, the school has uh, closed down and is no longer in service. But, uh, you know, I see little paper cutouts in the window. So I figured that most likely that means um, it's still uh, 
in operation. Unless he just sort of cut some cardboard out and uh, stuck it to the windows and then said, so long. I mean, that's what they say. If they look at them, they all say, so long, we're closed. And these funny little stars and moons and shapes. Anyways, this is the, uh, I'm gonna... Anyway, this is the, this is pretty much the spot where I got into a fight. I'm pretty sure the guy's name was Sam. And, um, I'm pretty sure I lost the fight. Uh, we did this thing where, uh, I just saw this in the movie, that you put, you know, you put something on your, uh, shoulder, and you said, knock this chip off my shoulder. And I thought that was kind of cool, so I, I put it on there, and I said, knock, the, knock this off! And he knocked it off, then we started fighting, but then the recess was over. So then after, at 2.30 or whatever, we, uh, class gets out, school gets out, and we, uh, meet back here in the playground. And then he puts a, he puts another chip on his shoulder. And I said, no, I said, I said, you know, forget all that. Let's just go. Let's, I'm not even going to do that. I'm just, let's just start fighting. I was real tough. And um, I lost the fight. I'm pretty sure I lost the fight. My buddies who were, you know, on my side during the whole fight, they're like, yeah, it worked. And then when I lost, I'm like on the ground crying. And they're like, okay, man, we'll be right back. We just got to go check up on something. But don't don't worry, we'll be right back. And, and then they just left. And I don't think they ever talked to me the rest of the year or something. So uh, I think I embarrassed them. By the way, I just walked the street, and some guy turned to me and goes, Going fishing? I said, what the? And then I realized he thought my tripod was a uh, fishing, fishing rod. It's kind of skinny tripod. Behind me is uh, 327 Cascadella Street. Uh, this is where I uh, slept uh, for uh, the three years I spent here in Ithaca. Okay, we have an audience right here. There's a young gentleman on my right looking at me. I just, you know, I do is I just keep on talking, and then eventually he'll get bored, realizing that ah, just a man talking to himself. My mother, my brother, and I moved to uh, Cortland uh, in 1977, following my parents' separation, and um, we moved into a tiny uh, apartment. So that's where I used to live, um, and uh, so I, I knocked on the door, and the uh, the uh, toothless gentleman who answered the door wasn't uh, completely keen on the idea of me uh, entering the uh, house or being involved whatsoever. Um, didn't smell as the apartment. What it, it didn't smell quite as nice as I remember it. I still remember it smelling a little bit nicer when I lived there. <laughs> I'm standing right now approximately uh, 200 feet from my uh, uh, my old apartment. This uh, used to be uh, a fairly thick wooded area. At least it seemed fairly thick when I was uh, seven years old. And it was right about at this spot that uh, I fell down. Okay, I'm now standing in uh, when I was uh, seven. This camera's gonna fucking fall over again, man. I'm fucking in a wind tunnel all of a sudden. I don't remember it being this windy. Oh! Jesus, it's like a windy, like right here. And stop! Usually the wind, you know, stops right now. This is really not going too well. I don't even have a show. This is not this is not this is not a show. This is definitely not a show. A little bit of a hitch here. We got into some uh, really bad, uh, s a bad uh, storm. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm ending the, uh, I'm ending my little trip right about now. And I'm gonna try to make it home back to uh, New York City without, uh, uh, without uh, the car uh, 
falling into a ditch or running into another car or just sliding into a river. That would be a plus. So I'm all right. I'm that's it. It's cold and I'm going home. So uh, we're back to, uh, back um, back home uh, in in New York City. I'm trying to think of what uh, what we can do to fill up uh, the time. Uh, why don't we uh, why don't we go uh, go to this? Sir, how are you? Are you a New York Yankee fan? I can't speak English. Um, ne me neither. Like, what, what language do you speak? I'm Korean. He's Korean? Well, how about that? I, I don't know anything in Korean. Hi there, miss. Would you consent to an interview for the UN channel? You don't have time for an interview. Can I make an appointment? Thank you. Sir, would you be in an interview? We're talking about you. What would you like to talk about? I, need, I don't know. Do you Not work for the UN? Yeah, I do. What do you do? I'm in peacekeeping. Do you keep peace? Not really. <laughs> he doesn't keep peace. Don't come back. Uh, are you a soldier? <laughs> sir, would you do an interview with me for the UN channel? Uh, I'm sorry. No, come on, come on. Yes, you would. Please. I don't Please. work for the UN. Then neither do I. I, I I'm, just, I'm just lying. I don't work for the UN channel. Well, that's a very nice suit. Where did you buy your suit? <laughs> <laughs> what about my suit? <laughs> that was the funniest joke I ever made. I said to the guy, where do you buy your suit? I don't get it. I had him in stitches for the UN channel. We're talking to people who are mean. Are you mean? No. I guess that's a yes. Would you like to be in an interview? We're talking to selfish people today. Are you selfish? No, I'll, I'll talk to myself. Hey, we're talking to stupid people today. Are you stupid? Yes. Hurry, hurry. You miss the bus? Go, go. Raise your hands in victory. Don't <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm supposed to battle to you. Ready? Can you? What? 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 May I have a dollar, please? What is that? May I have a dollar? Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, no, no, thank you. No, no, may I have a dollar? Not, not, not a, can I give you a dollar? He thought I was offering him a dollar, but really I was asking for a dollar. Would you buy me a hot dog? No, I wouldn't. Hey, where do you buy your suit? <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Hi there, sir. Would you buy me a hot dog? No, he would not buy me a hot dog. Uh, he's coming back. Hello. Yes. If you looked underfed, I would buy you the Frankfurter. But for your health, I would think twice about it. Are you saying that I need to reduce? I didn't say that. Thank you very much. Are you no, I'm not hungry. I'm hungry for comedy. <laughs> You're a comedian. <laughs> Thank you. I've been dubbed a comedian by the man on the street. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> my voice cracked. Okay. Now let's now let's go to this. Man, I brought you here because I got a job to do. Johnny, you're the best guy out there with a gun. You know how and when to use it. Sal, when there's gold to move, you can move it. Yes. All right. Sal, you saw that abandoned mine down the road when you came in? Briefly. All right. Now, I've discovered untapped millions of dollars of gold in that mine. But it belongs to the town. They want to make a museum out of it, you know, for the old gold rush. But I got a plan that'll keep the town away from the mine, keep the museum shut down, 
No one's gonna get near that place. We're gonna dress up like monsters. Okay, got three masks. Monsters? What the freaking hell are you talking about? Monsters! Monsters? Monsters! Huh? You ever worked with a mask before? You know, a mask. Like a monster mask. Masks? Oh, it's easy. You know, there's big holes for your eyes. It'll be like you're not even wearing anything. All right. When exactly do I get to shoot somebody? I'll huh? talk about that later. Now, you're good with mechanics, like a gun. Oh. Can you run a film projector? Uh, I... Because I, I got I, a no. film. I got a film of a monster. We're going to project it on a wall. It'll look exactly like a three-dimensional monster, like the real thing. Anyone who sees it will be scared away. What are you talking about? Monsters! So, uh, when exactly do I get to shoot somebody? Well, we'll talk about that later. Sa, are yes. you good at moaning? Uh, moaning? You know, moaning like a monster. I don't know, I never tried. Watch this. <coughs> you try. No, no, lower, lower, from the diaphragm. <laughs> diaphragm! Diaphragm! <laughs> okay, alright, now you. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. Alright, now. So far, what do you guys think of the plan? Thank you, Nuts. Thank you, I didn't mind. What? what? Where are you going? You I got bad things to do, buddy. Sorry. Gee, I... <laughs> what in the heck is that? Wow, a spooky room filled with haunted spider webs and creepy old looking chests. Right? Come on, let's get out of here while we still can. All right, all right, I'm all right, in. So you guys all right. are in. Let me work in the projector. We got, we got a projector. I got a mask. I just, all right, I need, I need, I need extra bullets for my gun. Right? Yeah, we got and, a mask. Uh, all right. Don't worry about it. I got, I got, I got, I got this thing. If we need, to, we need backup. <laughs> We can uh, and now we can and now we can go to this. Hello, guys. I'm Jennifer. And now it's time for another installment of Jen's dating tips. Tip number one hundred four: When on a first date at a restaurant, do not rub or pick at open sores, flicking dry scabs into soup or salad. This gives a signal of disinterest and your date is likely to think you're not paying attention to her. Well, I'm out of time. This has been Jen's Dating Tips. Good night and good luck. All right, now let's go to this. <laughs> All right, now you saw that bed of mine when we came in? All right, that belongs to the town. But I have discovered untapped millions of dollars of gold in that mine. Now the town wants to use this mine as a museum. You know, for the old gold rush. But I got a big smile on my face, because I'm thinking, we're going to be rich. <laughs> Monsters! <laughs> 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 <laughs>